Welcome to labnist.com. In our last video, we have shown you how to register an ICE node using a self-signed certificate, and we've also mentioned that the node will need to have every other node certificate installed, which may not work well in a large deployment. So in this video, we'll show you an alternative of registering a node using a signed certificate by a trusted root CA. So this way, each node will only need to have its own certificate and the root CA certificate installed. In addition, your ICE nodes will automatically be trusted by the clients as long as those clients trust the same root CA. So in our lab topology here, which is exactly the same topology as our last video, we have a ICE1 that has been set up as an admin monitoring node. And we're going to try to register the second node, which is going to be a policy service node. So each of these will have its own certificate signed by a root CA uh, running on the Windows 2008 machine, and they'll basically going to trust each other. Okay, so here is our interface of ICE1, and we only have the administration and monitoring boxes checked, and it's currently acting as a primary node. Okay, as we mentioned in the last video, we need to make sure before we start that the name of the ICE nodes are resolvable by DNS. So let's make sure that we can ping LM ICE1 as well as LM ICE2. And we want to make sure the version they are matching on both uh, nodes. So here we have 111.268 and on the second node we also have 111268. Okay, now to get started with our certificates, we need to generate a certificate signing request. So here you go to certificates, local certificates, and we go add, and there's an option for generate certificate signing request. And we're currently on ICE 1. Okay, so for the certificate subject, it's very important that for the CN, you need to make sure that you put in the fully qualified domain name, which in this case is lm-iz1.labminutes.com. And we're going to have OU equal, let's call IT, O equal labminutes, S equal CA, and C equal US. Key link will leave at default 2048 with SHA-256. Let me copy that so we can reuse that on the ICE2. Okay, so submit. Okay, so I said the CSR was generated. So let's go to ICE2 and repeat the same process at generate certificate signing request. Okay, we'll copy and paste what we had earlier, but we're going to change to CN equal LM dash IC2 and then submit. Okay, now we're going to have to export the CSR. So here on ICE1, export save, and let's call that lm-isc11csr, save, and then we're going to have to export the CSR that belongs to ICE2 as well. Here, save, lm-isc2, scroll, CSR. Okay, so those should be saved on our desktop here. Now we're going to have to have this signed by our root CA. Let's bring up our notepad. Okay. And now we're going to have to go to our Windows 2008 certificate server. So the IP is 
for slash SRV. And we're going to lock in as administrator. Okay, so we also need to download the the root CA self sign cert so we can tell the two nodes to trust it. So we're safe. Looks like we haven't downloaded it, so we're just going to use the same name, Allen root CA. Let's overwrite that. Let's go back, and then we're going to make a certificate request with the advanced certificate with uh, base64 encoded. And that's basically what we have here on our notepad. So it's just a copy and paste. And let's give it the user web server template. Okay. Now I'm going to download certificate that's been signed. Say we'll call him LM IC1 cert. Okay. Just going to go back. And then do the same thing for IC2 using web server submit. Download the cert. All right, so we have both certs on our desktop. Just a quick look. Here's our FQDN in full. And it's been signed by Alim root CA. Okay, so now we're going to have to go ahead and install the certificate. So let's start off with importing the root CA to the certificate store. You can see this is uh, from the previous video. We can go ahead and delete that. That was a self-signed certificate from ICE2. So now we're going to have to import a root certificate. You can call them LM root CA. And if you want to use that to verify your client authentication by certificate, just make sure you have that uh, box checked. And especially if you do uh, authentication like EPTLS, you want to make sure you have that box checked. Okay, same thing, certificate store. You can delete the ICE1 self sign cert. You can import, browse. Friendly name LM root CA. We're going to trust the cert for client authentication and submit. All right, so the next thing we need to do is to bind the certificate that was signed by the root CA to the previously generated CSR. So, we do that is Go to local certificates and add, and there's an option for bind CA certificate. And we're going to select LM ISC1 cert. Just going to call it the same name. And if you want to use this as part of your EAP TLS authentication, yes. And we also want to make sure we, we, we are using this for management purposes. We should need to register the subsequent nodes. So we'll go submit. Okay, so from here the box will be uh, restarting. Okay, so we'll let the first box uh, restart. And now on the ICE2. Go local certificate. We're going to bind CA certificate. And here we select LMISC2 cert. Okay. 
Okay, used for client authentication, used for management purposes. This is going to say it's going to cause an application to restart. We acknowledge that and then submit. Okay, and now the system will restart. Okay, so now we're just going to let the two nodes, the application to uh, restart. So let me pause the video and I'll come back when once the application is back up. Okay, so now both nodes are back up. If we uh, check the server certificate the browser sees with view certificate, here you see the certificate now has become the one that we just installed. So LM, uh, LM ISE 1. And on the second node, we have also LM ISE 2 that's been signed by Alan Brut CA. Okay, so now we can proceed registering the second node as a policy service node to the primary. So the procedures here is pretty much the same now with the using a self-signed certificate. So we go register, register ice node, give it an IP, username admin and the password. Okay, now we uncheck administration, we uncheck monitoring, and we already have the node group previously created, so we'll just choose LM group 1. Okay, we'll click submit. Okay, now I said the node has registered successfully but it's still in the sync in progress the state. So let's refresh. Since it's going to take a couple more minutes, let me uh, pause the video one more time and I'll be right back. Okay, so now the synchronization process has completed. All right here we say complete and sync completed for the status. Again, just to make a quick note here, when you lock into the the second node, the options, the menu options is is much more limited, and that's because you're supposed to make uh, the changes, configuration changes on the primary node. Okay. So if this, if you are in the situation where you have to deal with, let's say. Uh, six nodes deployment. And if you were to choose the self-sign certificate uh, method, then you need to install, for example, for each node, you need to install five other certificates so they all can be trusted. As opposed to if you were to do a CA sign certificate, so each of these will have its own certificate and have it signed by the CA. So all it has to do is just to have the own its own um, certificate install and the root CA certificates. So it's just basically two certificate per nodes, which is much better than uh, having to import five different certificate in a six node deployment. But again, with less certificate install, you need to have the PKI set up, which uh, might be uh, additional work. Okay, so that wraps up our video on ICE node registration using a CA sign certificate. Thank you for watching labmins.com. I'll see you guys in the next video.